You want to go to you first? Yeah. All right, go right ahead. Let's guess. Uh, so why should Liz Cheney lose her committee assignments for agreeing to serve on a select committee to investigate what happened on January 6th? Uh, I'm not making any threats about committee assignments, but, but as you know how Congress works. You get elected by your district, and you get your committees from your conference. So when Jeff Van Drew left the party and became a Republican, he got his left his lost his committee assignments from the Speaker and got them from the Republican conference. When Justin Amash left, he then went and got his committee assignments from the Speaker. I don't know in history where someone would go get their committee assignments from the Speaker and expect them to have them from the conference as well. So you, you haven't even criticized some of your own members, like Andrew Clyde, who said that it was a normal tourist visit that day, yet she can lose her committee assignments for wanting to investigate what happened. Why Look, I, I, didn't, I did not Andrew say, Clyde? let me be very clear, I'm not threatening anybody with committee assignments. What I'm saying is, it was shocking to me that if a person is a Republican, they get their committee assignments from the Republican conference. For somebody to accept committee assignments from Speaker Pelosi, that's unprecedented. Yes. Do you regret not supporting the bipartisan commission idea now that you're going to have to deal with a committee that you have even less control over and an opportunity to influence and arguably would be more political? No. I, I regret the politics of Nancy Pelosi. For six months, she had played politics with this. So what has transpired in those six months? In those six months in the Senate, they had two committees bipartisanly investigate this and give a report. The FBI has arrested almost 500 people. The architect of the Capitol has been given $10 million. Pelosi continues to make this nothing about politics. That's why no one really takes this serious based upon the direction of what she wants to go. If you have read the Senate report, you'd be very concerned. You're concerned to what happened on that day, but you're concerned what happened on the days before it that caused that day to happen. Why wasn't the National Guard here? There's a lot of questions why that determination was made. National Guard were doing street patrol, but not with on the Capitol. It's concerning to me why the Speaker would not, would narrow the scope. Did something happen in the summer to make that decision not to bring the National Guard here? Why were the riot gears locked in a bus that people couldn't get to? All that preparation ahead of time. Why was the intel not provided and moved further? Sergeant of Arms never spoke to me prior to the meeting, prior to the 6th, during the 6th, after the 6th. There's a lot of questions that raise, and you got the Senate that went and did the work, and we got a speaker that did nothing but play politics and try to drive it that way. Well, you've got questions. Are you going to yes, appoint, are you going to appoint well, members to this committee question. to try when, to answer those questions? When I have news on that, I'll give it to you. Yes. I, I mean, that was my question. Do you intend to name members to this panel? And if not, I mean, last week you met with Officer Fanone, you met with Officer Dunn. They were here last week. They urged you to and take this mother, seriously. So, Officer Singer. Correct. So, so are you taking this seriously? I take it very seriously. Yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm wondering, you just named a, a number of um, entities that you think are to blame for, potentially, for the events of I, I January 6th. I blame something. Uh, you have questions about it, but yeah. do you still, do you believe that President Trump, former President Trump, is accountable in some way for what ha the events leading up to January 6th? What I looked, have you read the Senate report? Did you read the Senate report? Did you have questions about how, pre how the prep that we had for this Capitol? Were you concerned about when they found IEDs in the morning? Did we not call the FBI? Were you concerned about the idea that the Sergeant of Arms had intel provided by the FBI, but it wasn't passed forward? Were you concerned if we had that information, why didn't we have a different presence built here? If you were concerned about riots, why would you put the riot gear in a bus that was locked and around down the way? If there was, in the time of the riot took place, why was there not communication that had direction from leadership? Because leadership wasn't talking. There's so many failures along that way that happened the days before that allowed individuals to get into the building. 
That's what we want to make sure never, ever happens Jay, again. Former President Trump was that. the president at the time. Too, Does he have yeah, no responsibility? Yeah. I was going to ask whether you, um, when you were going to appoint people. Because she's, she could go ahead. She has a quorum now that she's appointed Cheney. Mm -hmm. So well, she plays politics all the time. But so, I mean, it, it would appear to be in your, in your interest to get people on this thing now. You think it's in my interest that it's a political game of what she's playing. When I have news on this, I'll provide the news. Paul, how are you doing today? Did I upset you last time? No. Oh. I thought from your article I must have upset you. <laughs> I, I felt gray hair is positive, and you were younger than me, so. I don't know. I hope you feel better after the argument. Do you want to answer Jack's yeah. question? Quick question? Yes, sir. Do you believe that effectively by Liz Cheney accepting the committee assignment on January 6th that she's left the Republican conference? Well, I was shocked that she would accept something from Speaker Pelosi. It would seem to me, as since I didn't hear from her, maybe she's closer to her than us. I don't know. Gave about previous members who lost their committee assignments when they literally. Oh, left I was trying Congress. to give you an example uh, on based of how, <clears throat> when somebody comes here, how they get their committees. I mean, take for example, when Liz Cheney came to Congress, she came to see me about and the other members on steering about committees assignments, just as every other Republican did. No Democrat came to see me about committee assignments, and the only time Jeff Van Drew came to me about committee assignments after he left. So, no, that, that, that's why it would be shocking to me for anybody from a party on the other side to come and want to accept a position Democrat from me, and it would be shocking to me to have a Republican to go to a Speaker Pelosi, of all people, to accept a committee assignment. Pelosi to extend 